Welcome to Friday Night Fishes number 96, aka the What in the Jungle episode. Uh, as you can see, plants, 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 more plants, and a little bit of algae. <laughs> um, as you can see, uh, added a lot of plants to the tank. My sister's cleaning up and moving a bunch of tanks and uh, offered... Uh, some of her expertly grown uh, greenery. Uh, as you can see, uh, it is thriving. Uh, I started to plant some, started to put it into the substrate, as you can see from these guys over here on the right. Uh, and, you know, really, uh, as I was going through and planting it, I, I kept sitting down in the chair and looking at it and trying to determine, did I position this in a good spot or not? And ultimately what I came up with was, you know, I want to just kind of piece at it. And I think the best way to do that is let's just float these things. Uh, you know, most of these will pull the nutrients straight out of the water column. Uh, and they'll be fine without having um, their roots in the substrate. And, you know, for the last week, so since Sunday of last week, today being Friday, uh, they've been doing just fine. In fact, they've been thriving. I see a lot of these are starting to throw little roots off. Uh, so they're they're doing well. Uh, the plants that I have put into the substrate also just doing really well. Um, one of the other things I wanted to show this week, uh, <laughs> look at that sponge filter. So uh, I think last week I was talking about the fact that, you know, I basically have to clean these things once a week. I have to pull them out and rinse them uh, because they get so clogged with detritus uh, that it, that power head literally can't pump water. Um, and that's what we're seeing there. Um, it's pumping just enough to keep those things suctioned on. I have to reach in and with, use both hands to pull those off. So kind of an interesting uh, phenomenon, if you will. Uh, I really like the idea and, and I'm kind of enamored with the idea of replacing that with a power head and likely an aquarium co-op uh, sponge filter and power head combo. Uh, I'm probably just going to order both from them. We do have a uh, local fish store about 30 miles away that carries aquarium co-op stuff. I'm going to see if they've got what I need and, and maybe make a run over there. Uh, other than that, the fish are doing amazing. Stay tuned next week. Possibly some new tank mates. Uh, some tetras that I've had in the past that uh, might be adding. So looking forward to that quite a bit. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Talk to you next time.